In this video, we're talking about different bag sizes and what they can fit so you can find the best bag size for you. We'll start with a one liter sling to use as a pocket dump and go all the way up to 60 liter gear haulers for rugged outdoor adventures. Hey, I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So what bag size should you get? It all depends on what you're carrying and your use case. Whether you need a daily bag for your work commute or something to take backpacking across Europe, we cover it all in this video. We're talking about volume in liters and not dimensions. So keep in mind that the shape of the bag, level of organization, and number of compartments it has can all affect what you can fit inside. Also keep in mind that liter capacities aren't always the same between different brands. Some measure the volume with ping pong balls, while others use heavier 20 millimeter balls to determine their bag's capacity and others just guess. This means that two 40 liter backpacks from different brands may not hold the same amount of gear. With that in mind, let's dive in and check out some bag sizes. We're kicking it off with the Basics, a one liter sling. This size is small enough to wear throughout the day as you explore, but still big enough to fit everything you'd normally put inside of your pockets. This is why we call it the pocket dump sling. This size can come in handy when you're going through the airport's TSA checkpoint. Instead of wasting time at the security checkpoint shuffling through all of your pockets, just pack everything in a one liter sling and slide it through. This is one of our favorite game-changing airport hacks. Plus, one liter is larger than you'd think. It can fit your phone, keys, travel wallet, passport, boarding pass, and earbuds. We recommend the Patagonia Ultralight Black Hole Hip Pack because it's lightweight, durable, and versatile. You can wear it either as a sling or around your waist. Plus, it packs into itself for easy storage when not in use. If you want to go for something a bit bigger but still want to stay in sling territory, opt for something around 2.5 liters. We like to call this size Pockets Plus. It can fit everything you'd carry in your pockets plus a little bit extra. So in addition to your phone, wallet, passport, and keys, a 2.5 liter sling can also fit a Nintendo Switch, snacks, battery bank, and charging cables. You may even be able to squeeze in some wet wipes and a packable rain jacket if it's small enough. We like the Air City Sling too because it is spacious and easy to carry. It still looks low profile despite the extra liter storage and secures your gear in place. Besides getting you through TSA hassle-free, 2.5 liters has enough room for your in-flight essentials. Just wear the sling in front so you can get access to snacks or your switch without having to dig underneath the seat in front of you to get them. Or use a hero clip and hang it off the seat in front of you. Grab a messenger bag that's between 9 and 13 liters so you can bring a tablet, small laptop, and some tech gear along when you need to get some work done on the road. There are also bags that are more of a cross between a messenger and a sling. It's good when you don't want to lug around a full-on backpack but have more to carry than a traditional sling can accommodate. A 13 liter messenger bag is a good pick for commuters that don't want to take up too much space on trains or buses. They're also convenient if you commute by bike. To get the most out of a bag around this size, consider how certain features will cater to your use case. An open main compartment without a ton of organization will be good to hold more items. The Peak Design Everyday Messenger is a good 13 liter example of this, as we've been able to fit daily essentials inside. Additionally, this bag comes with customizable origami dividers that allow you to fit camera gear and organize the bag to your needs. So will the difference between nine liters and 13 liters really affect what you can pack inside? It depends on the bag's level of organization and how you pack it, which is what we're discussing over in the Pack Hacker Pro community. For access to exclusive deals and giveaways with top brands, check out Pro. Save some cash and easily plan your next trip all in one place. The pro community is filled with welcoming individuals who are eager to share their knowledge with you. Participate in discussions and chat directly with our team. Unlimited access to community-driven info gives you the tools you need to make every adventure better than the last. Plus, joining Pro is the best way to support us so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Check out the link down in the description below for more information on how to sign up, and let's get back into some bag sizes. If you're not a fan of slings and would prefer to carry an actual backpack on your work commute, consider picking up a daily bag. For everyday carry, we recommend something around 15 to 18 liters. A step up from the 13 liter messenger, the daily bag will have enough room for a laptop. So if you're working remotely and shuffling between co-working spaces with a MacBook in tow, this size may be the right pick for you. Beyond just remote work, a daily bag will be good at holding all of the gear you need for daily activities. The smaller profile will fit in whether you're hitting the gym, 
coffee shop, or hiking trail, maybe even all in the same day. One feature that's helpful in a daily bag is separate compartments or pockets for clothing and tech accessories. While there are larger sizes than 15 liters, a good 15 liter day pack can fit everything for the day and maybe even a weekend trip if you pack light. This includes a laptop, tech pouch, water bottle, and a change of clothes in addition to essentials like your phone and wallet. A few bags we recommend are the Tombin Luminary 15, which I have with me right here, and the Away Small Zip Backpack. Each has a slim design and enough space for the essentials like a laptop, water bottle, and packable jacket. A personal item backpack fits underneath the plane seat in front of you and can be taken on board with most base fare tickets. This means no paying extra for a carry-on or worrying about a checked bag getting lost. The size restrictions for a personal item bag tend to be based on the dimensions rather than liter capacity. However, we have found that most bags around 20 liters work on most airlines for their personal item allowance. Just be sure to check these specific rules for the airline you're flying with before you start packing. On top of your essentials and a laptop, a good personal item bag will have space for a packing cube or two so you can fit clothing inside. This makes them the most useful for weekend trips, though they can work for longer trips too if you pack minimally and strategically. A 20 liter backpack can also work as a daily bag if you're headed directly to the airport for a weekend trip after work on a Friday. We recommend a bag like the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack because it has a very open main compartment and it is easy to stuff to the brim. Then you can put smaller items in organizer pouches or the front pockets of the bag. We have an entire video dedicated to personal item backpacks, including some that fit on the most budget airlines with the tightest restrictions so check that out if you need some ideas. We'll leave a link to the video down in the description below. The Daypack Travel Backpack Hybrid can switch seamlessly between everyday carry and travel. We recommend a bag that's around 30 liters and not too boxy for this use case. Anything larger will probably be too big for a daily bag, while sizing down probably won't be big enough for longer trips. A main feature we look for in hybrid bags is a way to compress and expand it. This can either be through compression straps, roll tops, or compression zippers that you can use to adjust the size depending on your needs. It's also convenient to use this bag for travel. Take out your packing cubes and gear when you arrive at your accommodation and cinch it down for a daily driver on your adventures. The Knackpack Series 2 is a good example which has an expandable compartment for travel that compresses down for daily use. Another great feature of hybrid bags to look out for are external attachment points so you can customize your carry. So if you do need additional space, you can just clip on additional pouches and accessories to the outside of the bag. A good 30 liter hybrid bag will be able to fit several smaller medium packing cubes, a tech pouch, toiletry kit, laptop, tablet, and all of your small odds and ends. Now we're getting to the heavy hitters full-blown 40-liter travel backpacks. While 40 liters is typically around max legal carry-on size, there's also 45 liters if you don't mind checking your bag. This is the preferred size for one-bag travelers that are going on extended trips. We especially recommend 40-liter packs for digital nomads who are traveling while working remotely indefinitely. Think backpacking through Europe for several months or hopping around Southeast Asia for a few years at a time. Trust me when I say it's possible to fit your entire life inside of a 40 liter travel backpack like this one. I did it while traveling the world for two years. They can typically hold several large packing cubes, accessory pouches, a change of clothes, tech gear, and even camera gear depending on the bag. At this size, we prefer backpacks that open up clamshell style because they are easier to pack and give you more visibility to see everything inside. They're basically like a suitcase in backpack form. One of our top 40 liter picks is the Osprey Farpoint, which our team has tested for over a year across 16 different countries. It's comfortable to wear for long periods of time and comes in men's and women's sizing, the Farpoint being men's and the Fairview being for women. A gear hauler is for those trips when you want to bring along everything plus the kitchen sink. These are typically in the 50 to 60 liter range but can go up into the hundreds and are best suited for road trips where you have more space to work with. When it comes to gear haulers, we're usually taking duffel bags, though there are some behemoth backpacks out there as well. Road trips aren't the only time when you want to travel with one of these though. Gear haulers are well suited for those rugged outdoor adventures that require a lot of extra supplies. They're also good for cold weather and winter sports when you need to pack heavy boots and thick jackets. Think skiing, snowboarding, and camping trips, for example. Traveling content creators, photographers, and journalists will also find gear haulers helpful when they need to carry around a ton of camera gear or audio gear 
in addition to their clothing and essentials. A good option for this is the Yeti Crossroads 60 liter duffel, which is one big compartment with two stowable dividers. So there you have it, our guide to bag sizes from one liter all the way up to 60 liters. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and please leave a comment down below with what video you'd like us to create next. Thanks for keeping me here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we will see you in the next video.